Hello and welcome to PSD Tats Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to talk about the new properties features for shape tools in Photoshop. I'm really excited about this feature because whoever is into web design or graphic design spends a lot of time trying to find the best radius for rectangles and also the size for them. And now in Photoshop CC, we have much more control over either the radius or the size of the rounded rectangles. So if I select this shape here and go to the properties panel, which we can position here next to uh, our art, we can see we have a lot of options here for the shapes and um, we can select any of these and see that the radius is the same on all of them. And if I want to change the radius, all I need to do is easily just click on one of these icons and drag it up or down. That's really cool. So now we can really control the radius of our shapes. And what if I make it smaller like this? How can I use the same on the other two rectangles? Very easy way is to select these details here, copy them, so then select the other two and paste it in here. And press enter and it's already applied. Of course, you can also select several shapes together it's also another new feature and you can control them at the same time. Maybe you can change their height without distorting the curves on the, on the corners. So I'm just increasing the height or decreasing it. Or we can also change their radius at the same time. We can even turn them into a um, circular shape. The other great thing is that we can also add a stroke at, at the same time to all of them. We can change the attributes of the stroke and so on and so forth. So from this point on, you can see that with the live shape properties uh, features, you have much more control over the shape tools in Photoshop and it will save you a lot of time in user interface design and in graphic design in general. There's one more thing I would like to show you. I'm going to turn off the properties panel. Let me just select this icon here in the front. And let's say I would like to work only with this one without changing the others. Sometimes when you have several uh, paths or curves in your layout, you might find it annoying that you select something that you don't want to select. Like in this case, it's quite easy to select the background uh, rectangle or keep that selected while I want to select this other one here in the front. So how can I make sure that this doesn't happen? What I can do now in Photoshop CC is that I select the shape that I want to work with and double click on it and it will automatically isolate it from all the other elements in my design. So you can see it in, here in the layers panel that I made a um, filtering based on the selected layer. That's a new feature which is brilliant. It saves a lot of time, especially when you work with several layers. I'm going to show you this in another video more thoroughly, but here I just wanted to show you that it works very easily with paths. You just simply double click on the path or the shape and then it will automatically isolate it in the layers panel. So that means now I can't select anything else. Even if I want to, I can only move this layer around because that's the only one which is accessible. And if you want to get rid of your filtering and go back to all the other layers, then you just need to turn off uh, the selected filtering. And then we will see all the other layers again. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you also find it useful for your own work. And if you are interested about the other great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC, make sure you check out all the other videos here on PSD Tats Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.